So another huge Amazon update has now been pushed to my 4K Fire Stick mags and also my second generation Fire TV Cube. Now the first new thing I noticed was if you now go over to display and sounds, let's click on that. We now have this new Alexa Home Cinema. Now, if you didn't know, if you do have the compatible supported devices, Echo Dots and even a subwoofer, you can actually now channel your audio through those speakers. Now, if I click on that, you can now actually create the home cinema directly from your Fire Stick or your Fire TV Cube. And again, this was only available using the smartphone app. So it's great that we can now go into this. We can see it says you can create a more immersive sound by pairing up two speakers and even an optional subwoofer with your Fire TV. If I click on OK, this will now scan the network in your house. I don't actually have any compatible devices, but if you did, you would then see them in the list and you can then set up that home cinema. So great to see that Amazon are adding in some new features. And this was the first one that I saw. Next up, we have this brand new feature which uses AI artificial intelligence to recommend exactly what you should be watching on your device. Now, the easy way to access this is just to use the A button and say, what should I watch? And this now takes you to a brand new page using the AI engine to recommend content for you. So we can see some live TV recommendations. We can see some on-demand recommendations. And based on what you previously watched, what you previously the feedback for, this will then train the AI engine. So the next time you ask it a similar question, the recommendations will get better and better. And as we can see on the back, you can even be specific and say, what should I watch on Netflix or what should I watch on Prime Video? And this way you can then target your results onto a particular application. So this is something that they've been testing for a very long time and we can now see it's rolled out to everybody. So great new feature using AI to recommend what you should watch. The next one we can see they've now started rolling out this new sports feature built in directly into the home interface. So rather than the home screen, we can now see we have a dedicated section for sports news, sports highlights, and all of this content is accessed using the Fi TV news application. Now this was actually reported a few weeks back, and this is something that's being rolled out in a phased approach. So although some of you may have it, if I check this on my device, so that I do have the freebie section, some upcoming events, including sports, but that dedicated section for the sports highlights and sports updates has not been rolled out to my device as yet, but it will be interesting to know if you guys can see this on your home screen. Now the next one may have been available for a while, but I only saw this was available in the UK fairly recently. I think Doc Squiffy did a video on it. And that's basically accessing your smart home dashboard. So now without installing any application, I can just use my voice and say, open the smart home dashboard. Now directly on my Fire Stick or my Fire TV, I am now presented with this. So this is now basically showing you all of the smart devices that are previously configured. We can see I've got some favorites for different devices. I can create groups. Here we can see the smart lights, different plugs, and even the thermostat. I mean, for a quick test, if I go to the studio, if I now click on this, this should then instantly turn off my studio light. So let's try that now. And we can see the quick change in the camera there. So let me put that back on. So again, without you using your voice, opening up a smart app, you can have a nice bird's eye view of all of the smart appliances in your house and you can quickly control them directly from your Amazon Fire TV or Fire TV stick. Now, the next thing that you may not know is you can actually see all of the applications installed on your device and automatically sort them out by size. As you know, with these Fire Sticks, storage is always something of concern. People like to install different applications. They like to try different things. And very, very quickly, that storage gets eaten up. So how can we now quickly see which applications are taking up the most space so we can then quickly go ahead and uninstall them? If you go over to your settings, click on applications, click on manage install applications. Now we can see all of the applications installed on my device. 
but now we can actually sort them by size. So where it says sort alphabetically, if I click on that, I can actually sort them out by app size. But I'll give that a second. I can now very, very quickly see that the care application is taking up 180 megs, Silk Browser is taking up 165 meg, Netflix is taking up 141, Freeview123 and so on and so forth. So a very easy and quick way for you to see exactly which applications are the biggest ones so which ones you can quickly uninstall to reclaim the free space back. So not many people know about this feature, so I thought it'd be worthwhile mentioning in this video. Now, another one where people are constantly complaining about Wi-Fi speeds or they're just not getting the bandwidth that they think they should get, how can they quickly troubleshoot that? Well, in a previous update, Amazon also added the ability for you to diagnose your network connection. So we can see I can go to my current network and if I now press the play button, this will allow me to check the network status. So now from this screen, without installing any third party applications, I can now run a quick speed test. Because sometimes people think that an application is slow, that means my whole device is slow, but it could just be that the one application itself is having an issue. Whereas doing a general speed test, you can quickly determine and see, is it your actual device that's causing a problem or is it a particular application? So I'll run a quick speed test. We can see my device is nearly getting 300 meg downstream. But what you can also now do is click on advanced. Now this will show you some detailed settings about your current Wi-Fi settings. So if you are noticing some Wi-Fi dropouts or maybe if your Wi-Fi speed is not great, I would say the two things to look at is where it says channel use and also the signal to noise ratio. Now for channel use, you want to pick a channel that's not congested. So if your neighbors or people living near you, if they're all using the same channel, then that can cause congestion, which again can affect your Wi-Fi performance. Now the second thing is the signal to noise ratio. Now, now on a basic level, we just want more signal and less noise. And if the number you see here for that ratio is below 15, then you definitely have some issues. So double check and make sure your device is not too far away from your router or router. Maybe there's not too many obstructions in the way or other devices, definitely check that out. Here we can see in my house, I have a signal to noise ratio of 42, 43. So that means for me, I really can get maximum Wi-Fi speeds. So a pretty big update. I do think they've added in some nice features and these will slowly be rolled out to all of your Amazon devices in the next few weeks. And just before you go, guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hypey Vanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks, whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth, with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer. So please do leave me a comment below and let me know if you have all of these updates. Are you still waiting for them? Or are you somebody that blocks all updates from Amazon? So do leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon.